Africa, a rich continent with 3,000 ethnic groups and over 1,000 languages. Its history of enslaved people has been taught from the United States perspective. An estimated 650,000 enslaved Africans were brought to what we know as the United States of America. But how many people know about the African diaspora in Latin America? Over 7 million men, women, and children were forcefully brought to Latin America, with 5 million alone to Brazil. Today, there are over 150 million Afro descendants in Latin America. Who will tell their story? Creador Pictures presents Afro Latinos, the untaught story. The idea for this documentary series started in 2007 when television producer Renzo Devia produced a program specifically about Afro Latinos on the nationally syndicated American Latino TV. After seven years of producing American Latino TV and Latin Nation, Renzo sold this company in 2008 and partnered up with writer Alicia Anabel Santos. For three years, they have traveled to over 18 countries documenting the story of Afro-Latinos. It's been a wonderful process to learn about our African roots. We've been lucky enough to travel all over Latin America, uh, in specifically in Spanish-speaking countries, but we've also covered Brazil and Haiti because they're a very important part of our history, of Latin American history. Um, but the main key to our production, to our documenting, is finding out what the social issues are and trying to come up with a solution, some kind of solution to the problems. There's many but we're actually coming up with some ideas and we're going to propose this in the documentary to see if the audience can actually help out. Um, and of course, the governments can help out. So now is the time. Now is the time to tell the untaught story. In Colombia, there is a small place by the name of San Andres where our background and our roots and our foreparents was African. Afro-Latinos is an in-depth and ambitious documentary series, first of its kind, that covers a variety of topics dealing with the Afro-Latino experience, from their history, music, dance, food, to their unique identity issues, languages, and religions. Racial discrimination is still a large problem in Latin America and is rarely covered in the media. Within countries such as Chile, Argentina, and Mexico, there isn't an Afro-Latino classification on their census forms. Despite their impressive numbers, Afro-descendants in Latin America still lack basic political and social power and often live under tragic economic circumstances. Though lots of research has been gathered, never has such a massive video project been attempted covering every country and every aspect of Afro-Latino culture. With the United Nations declaring 2011 the year of Afro-descendants, the timing for Afro-Latinos has never been better. The producers have partnered with the respected UNESCO organization and their Slave Route project to help verify research and fact-check scripts. More than just a television series, the Afro-Latinos production team has taught workshops at major colleges and universities in the U.S. and Latin America. With social networking sites like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and www.afrolatinos.tv, there is a built-in fan base eagerly awaiting the release of this groundbreaking series. This project will open doorways for new opportunities for change and will start a global dialogue. Afro-Latinos is committed to telling the untaught story of 150 million Afro-descendants in Latin America. Afro-Latinos is way overdue. 
It is finally time this story is told. <laughs>